How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Zach and today I'm going to show you how to reset your Mac to factory settings. In other words, how to erase all of its content and settings. And this tutorial is extremely necessary and important for many different scenarios. For example, if you're going to sell or give away your Mac, you need to do this and more if your Mac is starting to feel a little bit slow, a little bit old and sluggish, doing this will make it much faster and give it a brand new life. Oh, and this video is updated to 2022 and compatible with both Intel based and M1 Macs. So doesn't matter which Mac you have, I got you covered. So without further ado, let's begin. So in this tutorial, we're going to use a new feature introduced in macOS Monterey, which is called Erase All Content and Settings. So as you can see, as we click on System Preferences, we have this new feature under System Preferences right here at the top bar called Erase All Content and Settings. But as I said, this was introduced in macOS Monterey, so you got to make sure that your Mac is updated to the latest version, which is macOS Monterey. On top of that, this feature is also only compatible with certain Macs. As you can see here, Macs that have the Apple T2 security chip. So those are the Macs that are compatible with this new process. So as I said, you got to be updated to macOS Monterey and your Mac has to be one of those in order to take advantage of this new feature of this new way to reset your Mac to factory settings, which is much, much easier and much more convenient. It's super easy doing it that way. I'm going to have this page in the description if you want to take a look at it with more time. All right. Now, uh, super important information. If your Mac is not updated to macOS Monterey or you don't want to update it for any reason or it's not compatible or if your Mac doesn't have the T2 chip, as I mentioned, I have another video here on the channel which I'll put a card right there in which I teach you how to reset your Mac to factory settings the old way. So not using this new feature, but the old way. And this other video of mine is also updated and it's compatible with all Macs as well, all right? So again, if you can't do it this way, follow my other video card right there, link in the description as well, so I got you covered nevertheless, all right? Now, let's begin with the video. And as I said, I'm gonna use this new method under System Preferences, so click on System Preferences and then click on Erase All Content and Settings. Click there let it load. Of course, it's going to ask you for your admin password. That's the password you use to unlock your Mac. Click on OK. And then as you can see, we'll see this new window called Erase All Content and Settings. I'm just going to close this in preferences here just to make it clearer and easier for everyone to take a look. As you can see here, it'll erase everything. So it'll sign out of your Apple ID, erase your Touch ID if you have it, all your files, all your data, absolutely everything. As I mentioned in the intro, this is a factory reset, so you're gonna lose all of your files, all right? So we can continue. Now, it's gonna need to sign out from the Apple ID, of course. So type in your password for your Apple ID in order to unlink your account from your Mac. Just click on continue, let it load. And as you can see here, you're about to erase all content and settings from this Mac. So again, super important that you understand this and super important that you back up all your data. You have multiple ways to back up your data. You can back up to a flash drive, a thumb drive or a hard drive. Or of course, you can use iCloud to sync up everything and throw all your documents, all your files to the cloud. Or even you can use Time Capsule as well. Just make sure to back up all your files because otherwise, you will lose everything and there's no way to recover it. So once again, I can't stress this enough, you will erase your Mac, so back up your files, save your files, all right? Now, erase all content and settings, click there, and then as you can see, the Mac will automatically restart. We're seeing a black screen right here, and then shortly, I'm sure we're gonna see an Apple logo with a loading bar, so let's just wait. So, Apple logo, as I said, loading bar so now let's wait a bit 
But before we continue, big news, I'm launching two awesome new guides on Retrieve. If you're not really familiar with Retrieve, they're a guide, a course platform with awesome content from creators like myself. And as I said, I've just launched two new awesome guides, one for the iPhone and one for the Mac. So if you want to learn more about your iPhone or your Mac and take advantage of everything they have to offer, take a look at my guides on Retrieve. Of course, I have a link in the description and all of my content on Retrieve is on video. And there's even exclusive footage that you don't see anywhere else just on Retrieve. And Retrieve is super smart because it uses artificial intelligence so you can search the content, you can have subtitles on my content, and you can even dub my content so you can make me speak your language. It's amazing. So take a look at my guides on Retrieve. Again, link in the description. I have a guide for the iPhone, a guide for the Mac, and you can get both at a huge discount. Now, Let's get back to the video. Pretty important if you're doing this on an iMac or a Mac Pro, and if you're doing this with Bluetooth accessories, uh, please keep in mind that at this point, it'll ask you to turn off, to completely turn off and then turn back on your Bluetooth devices. That's what it's telling. So do that in order for the Mac to reconnect with the Bluetooth accessories. So I've turned off, I'm gonna turn them back on, same thing here with the Bluetooth, uh, with the keyboard, sorry. So turn off and then turn back on. And then wait a second, around 30 seconds, and it should reconnect automatically. And there you have it, the language screen. If it takes a while for the iMac to reconnect to the mouse and keyboard, just make sure to press any key on the keyboard and click on the mouse, that'll do the thing. And now it's just a matter of going through your setup process. So as you can see here, language, uh, English, so let's continue. So now it's gonna ask us to activate the Mac. So uh, let's go ahead and select a Wi-Fi network. It's gonna live right there at the top right hand corner. So let's move the mouse all the way up there, click on Wi-Fi and then uh, connect to your preferred Wi-Fi network. I'm gonna connect to this one and then just type in your password. And then as you can see, it'll start loading automatically because it recognized that I'm connected to a Wi-Fi network. And then as you can see, it'll say your Mac is activated. It will restart in 52 seconds. Of course, you can make it restart automatically. So click on restart, let it do its thing, let it restart. And then as you can see, we're seeing once again, Apple logo and loading bar. And of course, all you gotta do is wait. Don't do anything, just wait. And then we're seeing the hello screen, the famous hello screen uh, that started on the iPhone and now they brought to the Mac as well. And then we can go ahead and move on. So you can click on any key. Now select the language. And finally, as you can see here, you can normally set up your Mac as you would, as if it was opened up from the box for the first time. You're gonna select a language, uh, your, your country and region, uh, keyboard preferences, you can continue accessibility if you do, if you want to select any. Uh, I'm going to click on not now and then your Wi-Fi and then of course your Apple ID and on and on and on. So this is the process. This is how you reset your Mac to factory settings and as I said, extremely easy, extremely convenient with the new feature built in to macOS Monterey. So if you like the video, please make sure to click on the like button down below. It helps us so, so much here on the platform. On top of that, please make sure to click on the subscribe button and little bell icon to get notified whenever I post an awesome new video like this one. I post videos twice a week, always. And last but not least, please make sure to hit the comment box down below. Let me know what you thought about the process, the tutorial, the video, and my channel as a whole. I always do appreciate all your feedback, all right? So that's it, and I'll see you on my next video as usual. Bye-bye.